All right, so this is first step of React Native course. So let's install Node.js to our computer. Because for React Native, we should have Node.js to run our applications. So just simply search for Node.js on Google and you will see Node.js.org website and visit there. You will see two options for installing Node.js. There is first one recommended and latest version. I prefer use recommended version. And install this version. So open your terminal and just write node-v. That will be showing us the current node version, node.js version. So perfect. So now open your Visual Studio Code and let's make a brand new project from our VS Code. But before this, let's make a new folder on our desktop and I will just name it React Native Course. And just simply drag your folder into VS Code. Perfect. And now let's open our terminal and make sure you are on the current folder you want to add your project on it. So let's write npx create expo app. The reason uh, uh, we use expo because we can run our application on our real device. That makes it really easy, especially for Windows users, because on macOS you can just run on your simulator. Also in Windows you can install Android Studio and run with emulator but I prefer to run on my real device to see updates correctly so now let's say npx create expo app and if you want to name your project you want to add new folder for your project just write your project name like this and also just you can say that slash to add to your exist folder and I will do this do enter and just wait to install all dependencies to our project. All right, so our project is ready. Amazing. So now if you saw before React Native project, it's kind different from this because in React Native, we see Android and iOS folders, but in Expo, we don't see that. We will just exist this on app.json for example here is ios and android and others we will see in next tutorials and let's quickly look at the expo folders made with react native expo on the very first assets folder you see there's some images icons the app is added by default and also we have node modules this is all dependencies installed there and we have app.js which is the important part we will look at now and other JSON and JavaScript files we will not use it now so let's quickly look at on app.js to understand how React Native exactly works so if you saw React.js before React.js is kind of similar to this screen but there are some different things for example in React.js you can just simply run HTML tags to display your elements and objects, maybe text or image to your application. But in React Native, we use React Native components. For example, view, we can say view is similar or same idea with div at HTML. And also we see here a text. This is, we can say P tag or H1 or H tags to display text. And also we have status bar and again, view closed tag so there is also too much tags we will use it on next tutorials so let's quickly run our application to see how it look like so for this i will run on my real device and i will mirror my screen here all right so we can see our screen now and let me show you which app you will use for displaying your current project on your real device. This is Expo Go. You find this application for both of operation systems iOS and Android. For iOS just simply go App Store and just search for Expo Go and you will find this application. Also for 
Play Store for Android. So when you install, just open your app and let me just quickly sign out from my current account to see everything from scratch. So now when you open your app, you will see the screen and on VS Code, you simply write npm install dash g expo dash cli and do enter that will installing expo to your project all right and now when i say npx expo start that will be running our application let's wait for starting metro and you will see this qr code so just simply open your camera and read this QR code you'll see it says open in Expo Go when I click on it all right just installing my app all right I can see my application perfect and let's just update some text here to see real update from Expo, I will just delete this text and let's say hello world. And when I save, you see it just updated. That's amazing. And let's say we want to run our application from multiple device and maybe someone want to run your app. It's not close to you. So how to do this? And also you can just open new Expo account on your VS Code and also your application and you will see the current applications real time. So also I will show this. That will be really help for building application fastly. So just stop your project with Ctrl C and write NPX Expo login and do enter. All right, it says, what is your email and username? So, of course, before this, you should visit Expo Go website, say Expo Sign Up. Yeah, and visit to this website and make your new account from Expo.dev Sign Up and log in into your account here. So, let me log in to my account and also password. All right, let me try again. All right, it's just login to my account. Also, open your Expo Go again, and you will see on the right of top login button, and just log into your account. All right, and now let's run our app again. Before this, let me just clear this to see how it's just showing our current app. So write npx expo start and you will just see automatically added your current project. Yeah, I'm in this, like it says React Native course and just click on it. Yeah, it's just installing for iOS. All right, perfect. So now we are ready to make our application. So see you in next one.